Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today... It's time to look at a new Fione card. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Fione is back. There's a new card. It's actually coming out as a promotional card in Japan. It's one of the cards you can get in your pack when you go to a Japanese tournament, along with Alolan Raticate that we looked at earlier, and Beast Ball, which we featured in a video yesterday. This has been revealed and translated by PokerBeach.com, so let's have a gander to see if it's actually any good. Now, it is a water Pokemon, which is quite nice because you're hitting Volcanion for weakness, which is always a bonus. Of course, the weakness to grass is a slight issue here, although it's not actually the end of the world. You've got 70 HP, which is crucial because Tapu Bulu would be hitting you for 60 with one energy. And if they didn't become active that turn, Golisopod would be hitting you for 60 with one energy. The weakness is still pretty bad. It means that a Tapu Bulu with a Fighting Fury Bat will get an easy one-hit KO. But they won't be getting it without it. It's not the end of the world. 70 HP, like I've said, a big difference here between 70 and 60. The Retreat of 1 is alright. It's quite low, but this is a bench-sitting Pokemon. And whenever we've got a bench-sitting Pokemon, we like Free Retreat. Although... Look at stuff like Octillery, they very, 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 very rarely have free retreat. And by very rarely, I mean they just don't ever have free retreat. Gutted, sorry about that. Nothing we can do about it now. Being a water Pokemon is actually quite nice. There are some tricks that you can use. You've got Brooklet Hill. Brooklet Hill allows you to search for a basic water or fighting Pokemon. Put them straight onto your bench. That would include Fione here, which is pretty nice. And you've always got access to Aqua Patch as well, which allows you to attach a water energy from your discard to one of your benched water Pokemon, which could be Fione if you were so inclined. Having said that, it is not much of an attacker. No, ladies and gentlemen, it is the ability we really like here. And the ability says that all of your water Pokemon cannot be confused. And that is all of your water Pokemon, not just Fione here. Essentially, it's a bench sitter who chills and prevents confusion. And sometimes this could be really good. Now, Special conditions cycle in and out of the Pokemon trading card game. They're not always there, they're not always huge, but sometimes they are. And Confusion is one that does get a bit of use at the moment. The one that springs to mind initially, Espeon GX. Espeon very much likes Confusion. And this is played in Garboda decks. Garboda doesn't really have a, a turn one attack, because of course Garboda is a stage one Pokemon, can't get going in a single turn. So what they do is they use the Energy Evolution EV from Sun and Moon, they attach a Psychic Energy, evolve up immediately into Espeon GX that has a single energy attack, which gives confusion. And they do that a lot. Well, Fione here would then make sure that actually, no, there is no confusion. And this is really good at warding off an attack that causes confusion. It's nice to have a barrier. It's weirdly niche because it only stops confusion. It's not like something like Comfy, which just plain gets rid of all special conditions. No, ladies and gentlemen, it's just confusion. Although, to be fair, Comfy is when there's any fairy energy attached, whereas Manaphy is just a straight, flat out any Pokemon on the field that is of a water type gets a bit of protection. So that's all right. But there is one thing that really jumps to mind. I have certain Pokemon that I like, certain cards that I keep in the back of my mind, ready for when a card comes out, which might make them playable when they haven't been before. One of them is Mega Slowbro. And as soon as I saw this card, one of my first thoughts was, could this be what makes Mega Slowbro good? I'm not saying it's going to make Mega Slowbro broken. I'm saying it could be pretty good. Mega Slowbro EX has the wonderfully named attack, Lol Roll Spin. 
100 damage. This Pokemon is now confused. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Lol Roll Spin Attack does 100 more damage. It does 200 damage in total. Problem is, in order to do this, you've got to confuse yourself first. Confusion, flip a coin when you try and attack. If Tails, you take 30 damage and you don't actually do the attack. This would be really bad because you go to attack and you instead take 30 damage. Not good. We need a way to get rid of confusion. Now, Choice Band actually puts this attack up to 230. That's enough to KO Gardevoir, Golisopod, Zoroark. This hits the numbers on a lot of very commonly played Pokemon. It's not actually enough to get some of the big boys like Decidueye or the new Solgaleo coming out, but you could always use something like a Professor Kakui, or just one attack, one flying flip with the promo Tapu Koko to bring everything down into range could be enough here. But we need to stop confusion, because if you're confused, this is not a good attack. And we've had some ways of getting rid of confusion. We had the item tool, Heavy Boots. Heavy Boots can only be attached to a Pokemon that has a retreat cost of 3 or greater. That's fine, Mega Slowbro does. You get an extra 20 HP, and you can't be confused. Here's the issue. You need Spirit Link. It's a Mega Pokemon. Mega Pokemon need a Spirit Link attached when they evolve, else they end their turn. That is very inefficient. That is not what you want to do. So using Heavy Boots here would basically take away your opportunity to use Spirit Link. And that would be very bad indeed. The other option we had was Chaos Tower. Chaos Tower is one of these double-sided stadiums that does different things depending on which way it looks. But one of the things you can do with Chaos Tower is you can stop yourself being confused. You can make it so confusion isn't an issue. As a side note, it also stops you being poisoned if you're into that kind of thing. But your opponent could always play a field blower and then maybe you didn't draw into it and blah, blah, blah. Fione is better than something like Chaos Tower. Chaos Tower, your opponent can play a field blower, but Fione, it sits on the field. And either your opponent KOs it, or they turn it off with something like Garboda, or it stays there. And maybe for Mega Slowbro, that could actually be something that helps. As a side note here, I should point out that this is a basic Pokemon with an ability. Therefore, your opponent can here just play either an Alolan Muck or a Garboda to turn off the ability. It does make it mildly easy to turn it off. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do about that. It is the risk you take when you use basic Pokemon that have abilities. Sorry about that. I don't know that this is necessarily going to make Mega Slowbro broken now. Although I do like saying the phrase Mega Slowbro broken. Rolls off the tongue nicely. But I am going to tell you that it's got a better chance of making it viable than it has had since it came out in Evolutions. This is the best thing we've had for it since it came out. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but oh lordy, I really hope some of you guys go and test it out. And I really hope it's good, and I really hope it turns out to be broken. That would make me very happy indeed. But we got to ask the question here. What water decks do we actually have left? What water decks are there out there to use? And the answer is not much. Greninja's still doing the rounds. Maybe this could be good in Greninja. But then again, even if Greninja's confused, you can still use Greninja Breaks Giant Water Shuriken. So confusion isn't the bar for that deck that it is for some others. And the only other one we've really got is Alolan Ninetales. But with the new Solgaleo GX coming around around about the release of the next set well that is going to prey on metal weak decks so maybe this is something to stash away and consider in the future if we get a good water deck now in terms of the attack here i've not spent very much time on it because it's not good two water energy 30 damage plus sleep but you flip for sleep between turns so they've got a 50 percent chance of waking up going into their turn which means there's a 50 percent chance that you've used two water energy to do 30 damage that's not good we do have aqua patch to bring down the cost of the attack but it's still not good it's way too expensive if you really want a basic water attacker that attacks for two basic water energy how about caldeo from shining legends it's much better
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a card that is all about the ability. I'm not spending much time on the attack. The attack isn't good. What I do like is that this kind of pairs up nicely with Manaphy. Fiona and Manaphy are nice little Pokemon. They're a nice little pair. So it's kind of cool. Manaphy from Shining Legends heals 20 if you've got water energy attached. Fiona means water Pokemon can't be confused. And of course, you've got the Manaphy, which gives you free retreat, the EX, as long as you've got water energy attached. I quite like it. They fit together. I'm giving Fiona two Wossies. It's not a good card. Unless... And that is why it's worth doing a video about a card like this. Unless you can use it to make Mega Slowbro good. Unless confusion becomes a thing. And I suppose what I'm going to say about this is, it's a 2 Wossy card now. But I could see this being a 3-4 Wossy card in the future. All it takes is confusion to get popular, and this will be the card to go to, as long as you're playing water decks. And if you're playing a water deck and Confusion comes popular, and I know that's a lot of ifs, but if that happens, think back to this video and go, you know what, Rossi? Good point. Fiona. And just so we're clear, I've checked the pronunciation. Fiona is definitely the correct pronunciation. But I'm sure we can have an argument about it in the comments anyway. And speaking of the comments, I like your comments. If I don't get lots of comments on my videos, it makes me sad. I love the discussion. Do make sure that you're nice, but tell me what you think about this card. Tell me I'm wrong about the pronunciation. Say something. Let's all have a party in the comments. It'll be fun. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, etc., you can do so by going to patreon.com slash ptcgradio. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.